welcome to Magical Mrs Hutchins. Now, I've got Monster Crunch here with me today and we thought that you might like to hear a bit of a special story. So I've decided I'm going to read you the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Are you sitting comfortably? Good, I'm going to begin now. Once there were three bears who lived together in a cosy little cottage each morning they made yummy scrummy porridge for breakfast and it was the best meal of the day. But one morning Baby Bear said, Oh, this porridge is ha, ha, hot! Let's take a walk before breakfast and give it some time to cool, said Mummy Bear. And so they did. No sooner had the bears left, then someone peeked through the window. Someone with bright golden hair. Her name was Goldilocks and she was a very cheeky little girl. Goldilocks tap, tap, tapped on the door. Hello, she called. Hello. When no answer came, she pushed the door open and crept inside to explore. What a delicious smell! Goldilocks tiptoed into the kitchen and saw three bowls of yummy, scrummy porridge on the table. She slurped Daddy Bear's porridge, but it was too lumpy. She sipped Mummy Bear's porridge, but it was too sweet. She then tasted Baby Bear's porridge and it was just Right, so she ate it all up. Goldilocks was very full, so she looked around for somewhere to sit. And there, in the sitting room, there were three magnificent armchairs. She tried Daddy Bear's chair, but it was too hard. She squished into Mummy Bear's chair, but it was too soft. Then, she rocked in Baby Bear's chair and it was just right. Whee! cried Goldilocks as she rocked and rocked faster and faster until <gasps> crash! The chair broke into a hundred pieces. Whoopsie! giggled Goldilocks. She was having so much fun. Mm, I wonder what's upstairs, she said. Up in the bedroom, there were three wonderful beds. Goldilocks jumped on Daddy Bear's bed, but it was too squeaky. She bounced on Mummy Bear's bed, but it was too squashy. She then hopped onto Baby Bear's bed. And it was just right. <coughs> Snored Goldilocks, because she fallen fast asleep. But as Goldilocks slept on, the three bears came home and they were very, very hungry. And when they opened the door, someone's been eating my porridge, growled Daddy Bear. And someone's been eating my porridge, rumbled Mummy Bear. And someone's been eating my porridge, Baby Bear said. And it's all gone. And before Mummy Bear could make some more porridge, they heard a loud roar from the sitting one room. Someone's been sitting in my chair, growled Daddy Bear. Oh, someone's been sitting in my chair, rumbled Mummy Bear, rushing over. Someone's been sitting in my chair, cried Baby Bear. And now it's broken. Before Daddy Bear could fix the chair, they all heard a noise coming from above. One after the other, the three bears crept upstairs. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, growled Daddy Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, rumbled Mummy Bear. And someone's been sleeping in my bed, cried Baby Bear. And she 
still here? Goldilocks opened her eyes. Oh, yikes! She shrieked. The three very hungry bears were staring down at her. Goldilocks leaped, leapt up and dashed downstairs and bumped into the kitchen table. Smack! The three bowls of porridge threw up, up, up and the gooey porridge fell splat onto her golden hair. Ew! cried Goldilocks. That was the last the three bears saw of Goldilocks as she was dashing down the path leaving a very sticky trail of porridge behind her. Someone's covered in yummy scrummy porridge, growled Daddy Bear. Someone's covered in licky sticky honey, tutted Mummy Bear. Can we have toast for breakfast instead, said Baby Bear. And so they did. The end. Well, I hoped you liked the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. I enjoyed reading it to you. Maybe next time we could read another one together. So hopefully I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.